Hello, I'm Joe Russell on You Can Do It If I Can, and I'm here today with... Dan Leibowitz. I'm the safety coordinator at REACH, and I've helped organize this safety village today at Special Olympics. It's would you, Dan, would you, uh, my pleasure to meet you, number one. All oh, right. And I like that's you. What is your booth all about? It's about safety. We're, we're trying to teach, uh, I'm trying to design a program for the special needs population. Right now, most of the programs that are around are specifically geared for children uh, and adults. Very little geared towards special populations. And um, this particular booth, what I've set up, we have the... Um, emergency medical services here they're fingerprinting over here okay. uh, um, so what this booth is all about uh, is safety and safety to the special populations and you mentioned uh, special populations for the viewing audience audience who may not know what special population is would you define and elaborate on who are the special populations okay this specific event is the Special Olympics annual state track and field games and the people here all have to all are mentally retarded which means they have a IQ of 75 or less all from mildly to severely mentally retarded and sometimes they have an accompanying uh, physical or mobility disability okay I understand now great um, so what I'm trying to do is start educating a lot of these people here on how to protect themselves against the uh, elements whether it be fire or water or just general safety for themselves. And this is safety around the house or is it safety in cars or I think you had mentioned something to me about seat belts. Seat belts, right. Um, well, specifically we have extension services here and they have this little, um, we, we have this little thing here that teaches what, what happens if you're not, if you don't have your seat belt on. And, um, can we have a demonstration of that? 50 miles an hour, no seatbelt, crash into the wall, your brain. Head injury, could be even death. That's a great example of what happens when you're in a car accident and you don't have any to, to restrain yourself. And especially if you're in a pickup truck and you don't have any you know, way of being secured to the pickup truck. My name is Karen Jessivers. I'm a registered nurse from Warm Springs, Georgia. Uh, we're here representing uh, the Rehabilitation Center from Warm Springs. It's called Roosevelt Institute. And uh, Robert definitely knows how it is to uh, not wear a safety belt. Robert, can you about that? Yeah, I just out one day driving too fast. Uh, didn't have my seatbelt on. Flipped nine times. Now I'm paralyzed from the neck down for life. And uh, what message do you send out to everyone about their safety belts? Uh, wear your safety belt. It can save your life. Every time you get in your car, not when you're only going a long distance, but if you're only going up the road, please wear your safety belt. Here today is Vince and Larry. They are pro replicas of the crash dummies that you see, the, the dummies that do the public service announcements. And they are here to represent the importance of wearing safety belts. And we take them out and around the crowd to remind the crowd to remind everybody that they're supposed to wear their safety belts. Now they don't talk, but they tell they make signs like, "Do you have your safety belt on?" They also say, "Oh, good, you have your safety belt on." And we're passing out stickers today. But Vince and Larry are just as recognizable as Smokey the Bear, or McGruff, or any of these other characters, and they are important for us to take around to emphasize the importance of safety belts.
double, yeah. brother. That's right. Michael Green at goal. You know you are. Michael Green at back to goal. That boy's bringing back the goal. He don't sit down, he gets down. And that's one thing homie do play. <laughs> homie do play that. <laughs> and he even taught me how to lift. Look at those arms, baby. Right. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> 